Stop oil consumption with Lucas Engine Oil Stop Leak. I'll show you as we test and review the product thoroughly. But first, did you know that GM states that they do not use excessive engine oil in their vehicles if they're not using more than one quart every 2,000 miles? And BMW states that their vehicles aren't using excessive engine oil if they don't use more than one quart every 1,000 miles. I mean, that's pretty ridiculous if you ask me. But what about your engine oil loss? Where is it coming from? Is it leaking on the ground? Or are you burning it? And do I have a problem that's actually going to solve both issues? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. And you're going to see in this test just how it works. We will say this, that you could have an issue with your PCV valve. Many of you may know this. For those of you that don't, I figured I'd mention it. If the valve stuck open, then you're definitely going to be burning excessive engine oil. And you can check out my previous videos on your PCV valve, how to clean the valve out. You can use brake parts cleaner once you've removed it, and you can actually test it. I show how to test the valve thoroughly. That way you know if it's actually working properly because these valves really last for a long time. I've never really had any of them just wear out. Now, do you have excessive blow-by? Is the engine oil being burned within the combustion chamber? This could be for a number of reasons because you have an oil control ring, you have a compression ring that plays significant roles in these issues, not to mention the valve seals. So there's a few ways that you can combat this obviously, one of which is high mileage engine oil, which could help to rejuvenate the seals. Many people are concerned about swelling the seals, but I can definitely tell you this, what you can do is use this Lucas engine oil stop leak. It does help to rejuvenate the seals and make them more pliable because many times they get old, dried out, and like brittle. So this often causes them to crack and shrink down and so forth. Now if your vehicle only has about 25,000 miles and still under warranty, I would do everything in my power to try and make the car manufacturer pay for any repairs or damages. And I'm definitely not trying to tell you guys that yes, this is the very best way to take care of a problem because in fact, you could replace the seals on many of these issues and that would in fact be the best way, obviously. But many times, uh, the cost is much greater depending on the seal, uh, depending on what kind of seal, where it's located, like a rear main seal. I mean, you know, whether it's your transmission, your engine, anything, I mean, it's not the seal that's the issue. Uh, they're very inexpensive, just a few dollars. But in many cases, as I said, it's just a matter of fact, getting to the seal that's the actual problem. Now with the Lucas engine oil stop leak, it's pretty simple to add to the system. You can just follow the instructions on the bottle and they typically say replace 20% of the system capacity, but you can look for yourself and see if there's any adjustments you need to make, I do say this, always follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Sometimes I go to the extremes in videos just to really put a product to the test and see how good or bad that it actually works. Now if you check and see that you're actually burning oil, you can see through the tailpipe many times that you'll see blue smoke. Now it's not always the case, you'll just have to check that out and see for yourself. But there's something else that you can actually do. Many people don't think of these things. And I recommend you use a high quality engine oil. Most of the new certifications on the engine oils at this time really go a long way to help with low speed pre-ignition. Guys, you could have a carbon chunk in the combustion chamber or other issues. And this engine oil will help with that with much higher NOAC volatility scores. However, as I was saying, you can use Lucas upper cylinder lubricant just like with the other. You want to follow the manufacturer's recommendations, but you'll see that this provides a lot of layers of protection. It's not just for, um, as you'll see, cleaning fuel injectors, but as well, it's for upper cylinder lubricant, hence the name. Um, you don't really hear a lot of people purchasing it for that as far as the cleaning of the injectors go, but I will say this, if you ever get a bottle of that stuff out, you'll see 
as you pour it just check out the thickness of it and you can see where it does apply a certain coating uh, within the combustion chamber and a level of protection. I've also tested this out on fuel injectors. I've even went as far as uh, to test out the compression to see if there's a difference because if you've ever performed a compression test on your vehicle and then you went back after performing a dry compression test then you add a little bit of engine oil to see if there's any kind of difference and if you did find a difference well in fact that just means that if the difference is too high in between cylinders or there's a huge increase after using the engine oil then obviously um, it's worn more than it should be uh, you'll just have to check that on your specifications so this is where the Lucas upper cylinder lubricant really comes in handy and that's why it's good to use every so often and preventative maintenance is always key it's just like with anything else you don't want to just wait until you have a major problem and then expect some sort of miracle and then go say well this is snake oil you know it's not working it's not working or it's not performing some kind of miracle for me it didn't fix my vehicle no it doesn't work like that you want to use it and try to prevent the problem if you have a problem it can actually help the problem from getting worse I've actually used this product when I was using a little bit too much engine oil so and then I use the Lucas uh, engine oil stop leak along with it unfortunately with Lucas engine oil stop leak it's something that you'll have to replace every time you replace the engine oil and as far as the Lucas upper cylinder lubricant obviously you'll have to use it every so often but that stuff lasts for like months and months at a time uh, if you follow the recommendations of the manufacturer guys if there's any tips that you can give, hey, please drop down in the comments and do so. The information always comes from you guys. Uh, the NIA community really goes a long way to help share your experience, knowledge, and kindness, taking your time out of your day to help someone else because someone may return the favor. Thank you guys for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.